Lockheed Martin designed the F-22 Raptor exclusively for use by the United States. The Obey Amendment to the 1998 Department of Defense Appropriations Act prohibits the sale of F-22S to foreign governments. In contrast to the F-22, aircraft like the F-35 Lightning II were intended for international sales to U.S. allies to reduce costs. One of the reasons for the ban on exporting the F-22 was concerns about technology falling into the wrong hands. Despite the F-22 Raptor's ability to carry a variety of weapons, the range of compatible armament is limited. The size and type of weaponry attached to the aircraft must be precise. Therefore, the F-22 is restricted to short-range AIM-9 Sidewinder and medium-range AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles for air-to-air -air combat, as well as JDAM bombs for air-to-ground missions. Unlike the F-15 and F-16, the F-22 Raptor stores its weaponry internally. It carries all of its armament inside the fuselage with three compartments. The main bay can accommodate six AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, or two JDAM bombs for ground attacks, while two other bays can hold two AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles each. Additionally, there is a 20mm multi-barrel M61A2 cannon hidden behind a stealth door. The purpose of this internal design is to reduce visibility. But if stealth is not a requirement, the F-22 is more than capable of carrying weaponry and external fuel tanks under its wings. Additionally, the F-22 often accompanies the F-35, which is optimized for air-to-ground combat, while the F-22 is designed for deep penetration and air-to-air -air combat. The first flight of the F-22 occurred in 1997, and in 2005, it was officially accepted into service as the F-22A. Since its introduction, the F-22 has been recognized as a critically important component of air combat capabilities and has dominated the skies. In 2006, the development team of the F-22 received the prestigious Collier Award, the highest American aviation award. According to the U.S. Air Force website, the unit cost of the F-22 Raptor is approximately $143 million per unit, excluding research and development expenses, which would bring the total program cost to $334 million per aircraft. Furthermore, when factoring in the cost of the aircraft's entire life cycle, including fuel, spare parts, and maintenance, the U.S. Government Accountability Office estimates the cost of one F-22 to be around a staggering $678 million. Not only is the production of the F-22 Raptor expensive, but it is also costly to operate. In 2013, Time Magazine reported that the F-22A costs $68,362 per flight hour. This substantial price tag includes ownership costs, such as aircraft modifications. For example, in 2014, the F-22 fleet required approximately 40 hours of maintenance for every hour of flight. The F-22A was initially designed for 8,000 flight hours. But after many years of use, the U.S. Air Force, USAF, believes that an unmodified aircraft can serve up to 12,000 hours, possibly even reaching 15,000 hours. For comparison, the service life of aircraft like the F-4 Phantom II is only 3,500 hours. The U.S. Air Force, as reported in the national interest, anticipates that current F-22S will remain operational until around 2060. The F-22 Raptor is equipped with two Pratt and Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines, which generate a thrust of 35,000 pounds each. In comparison, the F-15's engines produce only 25,000-29,000 pounds of thrust. The engines, combined with the F-22's design, allow the Raptor to fly at supersonic speeds with reduced fuel consumption. The Raptor possesses supercruise capability, which means it can achieve supersonic speeds without using afterburner, a feature used by most aircraft to reach such speeds. Unlike most aircraft where the nozzles are fixed straight from the engine, the F-22 Raptor is equipped with vectoring nozzles that allow the pilot to move them up and down by 20 degrees. The exhaust gases expelled from these vectoring nozzles help push the nose of the aircraft up or down, increasing the aircraft's roll rate by 50%. As the thrust vectoring control is integrated into the F-22's flight control system, the pilot can control it automatically. 
The nozzle will move in the correct direction as the pilot turns the aircraft, as well as using the elevators, rudder, and ailerons. This capability contributes to the F-22's exceptional maneuverability compared to other fighter aircraft. In 1985, the U.S. Air Force initially planned to order 755th generation fighters with production starting in 1994. However, the major aircraft review in 1996 reduced the number to 648 aircraft. The number eventually became 339 F-22 Raptors in 1997 and then dropped again to 277 in 2003. By 2004, the Department of Defense further reduced the count to 183 aircraft. In 2008, Congress passed a defense spending bill that increased F-22 production to 187 aircraft. Currently, there are a total of 195 F-22S, with 187 in active service and 8 in test versions. The F-22 faced a significant software issue during its first overseas deployment. In February 2007, 12 F-22 Raptors from the 27th Fighter Squadron flew from Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii to Kadena Air Base in Okinawa, Japan, marking the first overseas deployment of the aircraft. Some of the F-22S experienced a software glitch during the flight, affecting the aircraft's navigation system when crossing the international dateline. Under clear skies, the Raptors returned to Hawaii for repairs, delaying the trip by two days. In 2012, the U.S. Air Force held a summit in Ohio to address one of the most serious issues affecting F-22 pilots, hypoxia-induced dizziness. Symptoms are often associated with hypoxia, a condition where the brain doesn't receive enough oxygen. Pilots experiencing such conditions pose problems because it can lead to incorrect judgments and tactical decisions. One example is a fatal aircraft crash in Alaska in 2011. By 2012, 25 aviators had reported symptoms of hypoxia and oxygen deprivation. The U.S. Navy and Air Force claimed that uncontrollable cabin pressure increases in some aircraft affected the pilot's breathing. In early June 2006, 12 F-22. Raptors from the 94th Fighter Squadron participated in simulated combat exercises during Exercise Northern Edge in Alaska. The aircraft demonstrated its potential by achieving a kill ratio of 108 to 0 against 40 enemy aircraft. Over two weeks, the Blue Force, led by the F-22, collectively destroyed a total of 241 aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. The opposing force suffered only two losses, which were not F-22S. F-22 Raptors are equipped with advanced electronics and instruments for enemy detection and engagement. In other aircraft, these two systems are typically separate in the cockpit. However, for the F-22, the system was designed to allow one crew member to manage everything, which was originally possible only in two-seat aircraft like the F-15 Strike Eagle. The F-22's onboard electronic equipment is the first of its kind to integrate electronic warfare, radar, and weapon control into a single flight system. The F-22 is equipped with the AN-APG-77 radar for stealth capabilities. The AN-APG-77 radar is a critical component of the F-22 Raptor's stealth. The radar was designed for strike operations and air dominance. It features all-weather capability, active aperture, and an electronically scanned active array, AESA, with 2,000 transmit-receive modules. AESA operates at a fast frequency making it difficult for adversaries to detect the aircraft. The AESA radar also has a low effective radar cross-section and target detection. The AN-APG-77 provides the pilot with comprehensive information before the F-22 is even detected. Through a secure channel, the radar also transmits voice and data, as well as jamming enemy electronic systems. The AN-ALR-94 system on the F-22 Raptor can rapidly detect threats. The AN-ALR-94 system was designed to counter threats to the F-22 Raptor. It combines offensive and defensive electronic warfare capabilities, including radar warning, targeting support, and self-protection. The AN-ALR-94 system determines the geolocation of enemies by detecting their radars at specific distances. Since the system has long-range detection capabilities, it limits the radar emissions of the F-22 that could reveal its own location. 
The data gathered by ANALR94 provides the pilot with excellent situational awareness and the ability to quickly respond to threats. In addition to its stealth capabilities, the F-22 has countermeasures if an enemy detects it. The aircraft contains a missile launch detector and radar warning receiver. If the enemy uses radar-guided or heat-seeking missiles, the F-22 will launch signal decoy missiles. These decoy flashes disrupt the tracking of heat-seeking missiles. The aircraft also releases chaff, which are small fragments of radar-reflective material. Chaff disperses radar waves, confusing radar-guided missile tracking systems. The F-22 Raptor has a large twin-tail vertical stabilizer. Unlike other fighters like the F-15, the twin-tail assembly is angled to match the aircraft's shape. The goal is to deflect radar. The fins even hide internal antennas to further conceal the F-22. On the other hand, horizontal stabilizers at the rear of the aircraft reduce the detection of F-22's thermal and infrared emissions by shielding the heat from the engine exhaust. Currently, the U.S. Air Force USAF, is working on a sixth-generation fighter to replace the F-22 Raptor. It is expected to enter service in the 2030S. As of 2023, the project is known as Penetrating Counter Air PCA, with the mission to maintain America's air superiority. The new jet will have a more efficient engine that increases its range. It may also forego vertical tail surfaces to improve stealth. According to estimates from the Nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office CBO, PCA could cost up to $300 million per unit. Thank you for watching until the end. Subscribe to our channel for more updates.